I am starting to read George by Alex Gino. This is a middle grade series and I am so glad that there is a book that's geared towards a younger audience. This is such an important topic and I think kids should learn about it because it's nothing bad. So George is a transgender girl and she's yet to come out. And right off the bat, it's sad because she comes home and goes to her hiding place where she hides like magazines that are geared towards younger girls. And so she goes into the bathroom and starts reading them and then her brother comes home. And so like he, she hides them and she is so afraid that her brother will find them out because she doesn't know how anybody who will react to. She lives with her mom and her older brother. And then at one day at school, it was like a really triggering day for her. They are reading Charlotte's Web. And then when Charlotte dies, she starts to cry and kids are make fun of her. And they're like, oh, you're being a girl. And then the teacher comes up to her and is all trying to be comforting, but it's not really comforting because the teacher, it was like, oh, you know, boys who are sensitive grow up to be such wonderful men. And that was like, so she cries even more because she doesn't want to be a man. Like she, she realizes that people think she's a boy, but the fact that like one day, you know, she will be a man just like terrifies her and it's so sad that she has no one to really talk to about this because she's in the fourth grade and that's like being that young and having students around her make fun of her already and tease her about being a girl and and knowing that that's supposed to be an insult is just so sad so there's going to be a play for charlotte's web and george really wants to be charlotte and so she auditions and the teacher is like, what are you doing? This is for girls. You're not supposed to, you know, I don't, you can't do this. Lots of girls want to play this part. And it just devastates George because he thought like if, if people saw her playing a girl's part, they would maybe accept her. So this was supposed to be something greater than this play. And she was just completely devastated. So I'm halfway done with this book and her mom just found the magazines and just basically was not supportive. She, the mom was saying like, oh, when, it was cute when you were young, when you were dressing in my clothes and my shoes and stuff like that. But now you're old, you can't be doing that. And then she takes the magazine away from her. And that's so sad. Like that's, I can't imagine being this young and going through all this. And that's why I love that there's a book like this. While I know that because she's in the fourth grade, that is really young. And so she talks about like, you know, people go on medicine to stop their hormones and stuff like that, which I personally don't know enough to know if how young someone should go on medications, but definitely, you know, accept them for who they, they are at this age. Like they could change their mind. Yeah, but why put your child through that? Like, yes, make them see if they, like, go to therapy together. Understand what this person is going through. Do not isolate them even further because school is hard enough. Why do you want your kids to come home and also feel that isolation, you know? Then that, per that child has no safe spot. You should definitely let them be who they are. And George is Melissa. She looks in the mirror and she says that she, that's the only time she can be like, I'm Melissa. And it's just sad that her mom was not supportive. I'm hoping it gets better and that she becomes more supportive. But right now it is just heartbreaking. I hate that even at such a young age, we fall into these gender norms. They're at recess and the boys are like kicking rocks, but the girls are playing jump rope. And George just leans against the school watching them because she knows all the rhymes and she has to play jump rope but no one will let her she knows no one will let her because boys don't jump rope which is just so silly like it's just jumping rope there shouldn't be an assigned gender to these specific things and it sucks that you know boys don't feel comfortable even if they wanted to jump rope 
So I'm sure it would be much easier if there wasn't any of these gender norms so transgender people could feel comfortable doing, you know, things that is normally the opposite sex and not feel like people will look at them or be, you know, wouldn't find out. Editing Sasha here and in the clips you just saw, the audio might seem weird because I miss gender George a lot. I said him and he a lot and so I edited that in to say her. So I just want to say that I am sorry, I hate that I did that and that's why I edited it but I just want to let you know my mistake and why it may sound weird when because I put in her over the he and I am so sorry. I know that this is a fictional character but I know a lot of transgender people or non-binary who use they or them pronouns get misgendered a lot and I hate that I did that and so I don't want to trigger anybody but I want to own up to my mistake. I am sorry. Now George is completely isolated. He did tell his best friend Kelly that she feels like a girl and now her friend doesn't really talk to her and because it's like awkward. Not that like she wasn't accepting. I think it's just like awkward and she being in the fourth grade doesn't probably understand. And she doesn't really talk to her mother anymore. Like she tries to avoid the mother. And so right now it is very isolating for George. And it's just like you, this is the reason why so many young people or even older people end up committing suicide because it's so isolating. And I don't understand why people are more not more accepting. I'm on page 100 and George just got a little bit of hope and a little bit of happiness and that's so great. So Kelly finally came around and was like, are you mad at me? And George is like, no. And then she goes, so you think you're a girl? And George is like, yes. And she goes, then I think you're a girl too. She hugs her and it says that, it says Kelly leaped onto her best friend and gave her a hug so big they both nearly toppled over. The opened mouth surprise and joy on George's face only made Kelly smile harder. And then now they're talking about being transgender and that she looked into it and you know, about hormones and all that. Uh, don't mind my appearance, I just took a shower. But I'm reading and like the mom's reaction isn't the worst. The dogs are playing, sorry. And, but it's not very comforting at all. The mom is saying it's okay to be gay, but not that kind of gay, which is uh, right off the bat kind of awful. Like what kind of gay does she think is bad? Like a fem feminine, if he's more feminine in the way, like, a, you know, cause he has those magazines. So she thinks he's going to be feminine which is not bad at all like there isn't a certain yes there are stereotype stereotypes of what a gay man is but there's masculine men there's feminine men like nothing wrong with either but george she's like i don't know if i'm gay or not she doesn't know who she likes and then she finally tells her mom that that she's a girl and the mom's like no you're not you're 100 percent a boy like you'll feel different in a couple of years and just kind of dismiss dismisses it and it's that's just so sad yes it's like it'll be a shock because george is only 10 but if you took the time to actually listen to her these feelings are like deep down there aren't just like oh i want to dress in dresses i want to be like feminine it's more she knows that she is a girl and thinking about being a boy and like she hates going to the men's bathroom and looking at her body because she knows that it isn't right and 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 what if it is just a phase like why would you want to treat your child like this who is going through something so much like you should always be supportive of your child through this. I'm so glad George has a friend like Kelly. She explained how important 
playing Charlotte was, that if she played Charlotte, then her mom could finally see that she is a girl. And Callie was like, well, play Charlotte. There's two times they perform the play. And so one time Kelly could be Charlotte and the next time they'll sneak and George will be Charlotte. Like Kelly took the time to look into transgender and what it means and she loves her friend and so she accepted it. Yes, she's 10, but that's the perfect time to learn things like this. I mean, it starts with children. Really, if you take the time, teach their kids, it's nothing weird, it's nothing wrong, then the world will grow up and be more an accepting place. I have like 50 more pages and so I really hope this ends well. Well, he just told his brother and his brother was surprisingly very understanding. He thought his brother was gay and then when he said he was a girl, he was like, oh, that makes sense. Like, he's like, you've never been a great boy and now they're all sitting at the t at on the couch watching television and his mom keeps looking at George with like concern and confusion and it says that Scott looked at George as if his sibling made sense to him for the first time. George had never been gladder to have an older brother. So even if his mom at the end is not understanding, I'm glad that he has other people that are supportive. But hopefully the play helps his mother understand. So George's mom is finally coming around. She's finally listening to her and saying like, so you really think that you're a girl? You really feel like you're a girl? And George is like, yes. And the mom says, okay, well, I think you should see someone to talk about this. And I need to see someone as well. And George understood this because she knows that this is like the first step into transitioning because you have to see a therapist or a gender therapist someone who like specialized in this and george asks if she could grow out her hair and the mom's just like one step at a time and then when she came back to her bedroom the mom has given george back her magazines and i think that's great like she said, one step at a time, I think that's for her as well. She will be understanding, but it'll just get take time, and which is great because that means she's really trying. And that's great. I'm so happy for George, and I'm kind of glad that it didn't all, like, switch until be like the mom is so understanding and loving because usually that's not how it is. It is kind of like a one step at a time process especially since the mom was so upset in the beginning. So it would be kind of like unrealistic if all of a sudden she was just like too understanding, if that makes sense. But I'm glad that it's going in this direction. So George is going to the zoo, the Bronx Zoo with Kelly and her uncle's taking her. And Kelly's like, this will be the perfect thing because no one you'll know will be there. My uncle doesn't know you. And so you can dress like a girl. And George is so excited about this. And he is trying on like a pink top and a, a skirt. And she looks in the mirror and she said, she looked in the mirror and gasped. And Melissa gasped back at her. For a long time, she stood there just blinking. George smiled and Melissa smiled too. So that's just so wonderful because she doesn't get a chance to dress and look like a girl and I think that's just so great that, that she can finally feel like Melissa and now Kelly is using the name she chose Melissa and she says oh that looks so cute on you Melissa and Melissa's heart fluttered hearing her name and before in the book the author used George like the author used she pronouns but always referred to her as george but now it's switching over to melissa there is no george because now she can be melissa and i think that's a awesome way of doing things and so, like even when george referred to herself she always referred to her as george 
Everyone referred to her as George, and now she's referring to herself as Melissa N. That's great. She can finally be who she is, and that's beautiful. So I finished George, and I really liked it. I think I'm giving it a three-star rating, and that has nothing to do with, like, the story itself. I thought it was cute. It's just, like, a middle grade, so it's not really for me. But I really hope that middle grade kids are reading this because I think it is an important read. It's like, I think it's perfect for your child to be introduced into like transgender, gay community, like anything like that. I think it's great. And I think it's a good way to introduce them. I read the about the author section and I don't know if I used any pronouns to describe this person but they go by they pronouns and so if I said he or she I don't know what I said I'm sorry that I misgendered them I don't know but Alex Gino goes by they pronouns and I think it's important to know that and use that <laughs>